Canadian R&B artists like Drake and Justin Bieber complicate ideas of race, music, and nationality. Drake and Justin Bieber are among the biggest and most popular music stars in the world. Hello viewers, welcome to Celebrity News. Please subscribe to stay updated with all latest updates about American celebrities. Part of its appeal was to jam pop, hip-hop and R&B genres of music that the music industry had traditionally segregated along racial lines. My doctoral research examined how Drake, Bieber and Jesse Reyes innovatively approached R&B music and built distinctly Canadian lifestyle brands that reinforce, complicate and or challenge prevailing beliefs about Canadian identities as exclusively white in R&B as a genre. It is practiced exclusively by black American artists. The association between the color of an artist's skin and the classification of their music has been around for a long time. Billboard Music Charts created the Race Records Music Genre Chart in 1947 to collect exclusively black identities. This chart, in part, gave some visibility to black artists who were largely marginalized in society. However, the category of race recordings overgeneralized the diverse styles of music created by black artists. Race record artists were understood as blacks and old-time artists were understood as white southerners. Billboard later renamed the race record chart to R&B, then black singles, and then back to R&B. In 1949, RCA Victor, a major record company in the United States, also used the term blues and rhythm to refer to a record label featuring primarily black artists. Dominant archetypes of black rappers and white country singers continue to shape expectations about the genre. In 2011, black American artist Frank Ocean said, In America, that's the first thing that comes to mind. If you're a singer and you're black, you're an R&B artist. A period. Journalist Elias Leet noted in 2019 that black artist Lil Nas instead. It was included on Billboard's Hot R&B Hip Hop Songs chart. Canadian artist Sean Desmond, who is of Portuguese and Italian descent, said people usually assume he is black because of his involvement in R&B music. Pioneers of R&B in Canada music journalist Larry LeBlanc former Billboard's Canadian Bureau chief, noted in a 2006 interview that Toronto was a solid R&B city in the 1950s, 1960s and early 1970s. However, this scene remained disconnected from the Canadian recording industry, which failed to support Canadian R&B artists. Canadian R&B and hip-hop artists have long contributed to Canadian culture. But racism shaped the representation of Canada as an exclusively white rock country and a rural nation. Black Canadian Eleanor Collins became known as the first lady of jazz in Canada in the 1950s, but it was not until 2014 that she was awarded the Order of Canada. Based on the racism they faced, a Canadian R&B group named their band by reappropriating a racist slur used to describe black people. Shadows. As described by former Shades member, also a comedian and actor, Tommy Chung, his fellow Shades members were black and indigenous, Sarsi Tsuatina, while he was of Chinese, Scottish, Irish descent, and together they represented these different shades of skin tone. When the Shades got a black American lead singer and renamed themselves Bobby Taylor and the Vancouver's, they hit Billboard's R&B charts. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and make sure to press the bell icon to get notifications when I upload